Do you three putt often? Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, David Folk here, and today we have a fun day. It's the first day of school for my eldest daughter who is in fourth grade. So I'm meeting uh, my wife and her at the elementary school to uh, hang out there, see her off. Uh, we do have a conversation uh, coming up about an article that I found on mygolfspy.com uh, talking about three putting. It's going to be a good one. Um, I think you guys are going to enjoy that. So, question of the day. How many times do you three putt in a round? Look forward to hearing those comments down below while you're down there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up because YouTube likes that. So, lots to do, lots of fun. Let's go putts around. Hit the ball. Boom. Everybody was dropped off. Abby had a great day. I picked up Jack Jack right here. Say hi, Jack Jack. And so now we have time to wander around uh, up here in town while we wait for Abby to enjoy her first day of school for a half day. I'm gonna make some uh, video content. I'm gonna edit some stuff as well. I brought my computer and we're probably gonna go either play at a park or play I don't know, someplace with Jack Jack. So, super fun, and I have low fuel. All right guys, I wanna take a look at an article found on mygolfspy.com. Uh, the article is called Pros versus Joes uh, and Three Putting. And there are a couple of statistics that I found very interesting, uh, and I wanna share those with you. The first graph we wanna take a look at is going to be the three putts per round. But the numbers I really want to focus on are going to be the 1 to 5 handicap and the 15 and above handicap. You can see in this graph that the 1 to 5 handicap only has 1.63 putts per round. So that means every two rounds they have three putts. Compare that with the 15 and higher handicap. They have three putts per round or 6.4 three putts per two rounds. That's that's a huge difference. That's doubling the number of three putts. So if you guys want to improve, Hank Haney said it best, get rid of the three putts. Say so hi, Jack Jack. We have a couple of drills that we're going to work on that's going to help you with both lag putting and help you with uh, the, the within five foot range, which is really where I want your lag putts to be. If you can lag it to there, then you're, you're much better off at trying to hole it in two putts as opposed to three jacking. So let's take a look at a couple of drills that we can do that's going to help you avoid three jacking. One of my favorite drills for putting is the gate drill. And this is gonna help you guys with your lag and making sure you're putting and consistency on there. And so you can see here, I'm in my bathroom and I've set up some deodorant that my wife and I use, my toothbrush holder, and the cap to hairspray. Obviously not mine. And what that's gonna do is it's basically going to have me come through the gate and you guys can see here that my putter is just wide enough to be able to pass through the gate and it gives me just a little bit of room on each side so I don't have to be 100% perfect on these putts. The goal is to hit the cup and have it maybe roll just a little bit by it if possible, but obviously my bathroom floor is not the typical everyday greens. I mean, this is like 30 on the step meter as opposed to 10. But the idea is to hit the ball crisply and then to gauge distance. If I can gauge distance on this, and work on this maybe 15 putts, 20 putts a day, then I can move to actual greens and that's gonna allow me to have the same consistency because I'm hitting the ball consistently through the gate the entire time. You know, take out your putter or bring a putter into the bathroom for security reasons. That's a great way to explain it to the wife. And then you can bring it out and putt with it at the beginning of the day, at the end of the day, when you're going to the bathroom, right? You just take that extra 20 putts brings that consistency up for you. All right, we just picked up Abby Sue from her first day of school. How was it, Abby Sue? It was perfect. Perfect, wow. I'll have to let the principal know how perfect <laughs> it was. And now we have Jack Jack in the back who is awake and happy. Say hi, Jack Jack. I'm not happy. 
So now we're gonna go uh, grab some lunch and hang out with mom at her school. Yay! No. Let's go. If you lost, he's a if you need freedom, the second drill I'd work on is going to be putting a circle around the hole. So for instance, my green here is only about three feet wide. And so what I've done is I put a T over here and a T over here. And so what that's gonna allow me to do is putt from two different angles. Now, when I'm out at the driving range or out at the uh, course and doing some practice putting, I put about six T's or seven T's around uh, the hole in, it, in about five to six feet distance. And then I practice my five to six footers from every angle to feel like I can then be able to uh, have confidence as I put up that lag in that circle, then I have confidence to make that second putt to avoid the old three putts. So what I would do is I come over here, drop a putt over here, and then putt from this side. And I try to make maybe five or six of them. And so there's one, we'll put it here, we'll cut again. There's two. And then I come over on this side and I do the exact same thing. Now what you can do as well is work with the first drill we talked about with the gate drill of putting. And you can put a T right here as well. And then you can line up the ball in between there and practice putting in between the gates as well. So those two drills combined, I think are gonna help you improve your two putt lags to be able to avoid the old three jack. We hope those drills helped you out. We look forward to hearing your comments down below about the question of the day. How often do you guys three jack? Do you find that it meets the same level of the handicaps that the Arcos a graph showed that we talked about earlier? Put those comments down below. We look forward to hearing those. Again, guys, we hope that you guys subscribe. If you're liking these videos, if you're liking the reviews, hit that subscribe button down below. As always, guys, thank you, and we'll chat with you next time.